Hey guys, and uh, welcome to another stream with me, Super Notice. We're back with Red Dead Redemption 2. And in case you're only just joining me, if you didn't join me before, we were just involved in a very nasty shootout in Rhodes with the, uh, the Greys. Yeah. So we helped them out. We did a few jobs to actually make things better for them. We sold off horses that they told us to sell. You know, we did all that stuff. And as we're riding through town, they blew Sean's head off. Yeah. Didn't even give us the slightest of warnings. They just shot him. Arthur wasn't quick enough when he realised there was a trap ahead. He wasn't quick enough to save his friend. But, you know, no doubt the revenge will be sweet and we'll find out. If the Greys actually have this gold that they're boasting to everyone about, what do you reckon? I don't think they do. But we get to have some fun. When we blow these guys to pieces. Oh yeah, we also... Uh, Arthur escaped uh, near death at the hands of the O'Driscolls so the O'Driscolls can die too wait they've taken uh, now they're just even worse so now the Braithwaite's are just as bad oh there's a surprise I knew they were horrible Oh yeah, in case you hear a noise in the background, I have got a dryer running. <laughs> uh, so it might make a funny noise when it finishes. I'm hoping it's not too loud. Uh, if it is, I'm sorry. Let me know if it is. Once it finishes, I'll make sure and turn it off. We won't hear any more noise, but... This is going to be fun. We're riding out to save the kid. Looks like they're about to realise why you don't attack Dutch Vanderlyn's gang. They might have figured out what we were up to, or maybe they're just horrible. I reckon they're just horrible. Switch out to the semi-auto as well. I don't have much ammo though. I should have really stocked up. So let's hope I've got enough to save the kid. I can't believe they take the kid. That's just that's just horrendous to me. They're just gonna all die. If that's what it takes. Well, once we kill them all, we can get all the gold we need. But we were seriously riding out in force. Yeah, it, I didn't think there was any gold either. We were living on past, you know. They were living on past glories. Pretending they had something they didn't. What well, they did have was power in some backwater, you know? Not far from the big city. They didn't have real power, just... power in their backwater village. And the fact that these idiots in the Braithwaite clan were... feeling the same way... tells us all we need to know. Let's just pop our gun out. Not, not gonna mess about. We're going to probably be under fire almost immediately when we reach the building. No point messing around, just uh, start as we mean to go on. Let's dismount. I'm not going into this fight without my gun ready to go. 
We probably should have stayed out of all of this, but the easiest fix would have been to have not helped them in the first place. Yeah, John might not be the best person to be here right now. Just a thought. Yeah, these idiots are about to find out the hard way that we don't play. Crazy people. You don't fire until he says so. Yeah, over here. We want the kid back, and you're giving to us now. Oh, shouldn't we? Just make sure we got a clear shot on a couple of them. Well, it's the way they do things. Apparently. Well, is that how you're going to play it? You'll like this. Possibly not much, but you'll like it. There's a lot of these guys. Get this guy up on the balcony first. And him. And those guys. I don't think they understand who they're messing with. Uh oh, I'm gonna get killed. Just duck there for a sec. Oh, this guy up there. There we go. These, these families were just both a waste of time. They were just a waste of our time. All told. I got some revolver cartridges, but I don't think that's going to help me. Need a shotgun for this, I think. Oh, these doors. Let's kick the door open. Shotgun right in the face. No messing around. Fire twice for good measure. Oh. The only other thing in this game sometimes is a bit of a pain is uh, getting round things. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming up. These idiots are going to wish they'd never been born. Oh, we got to go outside again. I would really like it if I didn't have to. There we go. Take a shot. And I'm out of ammo in this gun just now. I'll be out of ammo in this gun permanently in a minute. Well, not permanently, you know what I mean. Come on. Ah. I think I might have to change to my to pistol. There we go. See, how many of these guys do you think we can get here? Two. Looks like maybe only one. Let's change out those, switch that ammo quick. Oh, 
Looks like we're not going to get that guy. Okay. Draw some fire on this side now, is it? I'm not going to get much uh, cover there, I don't think. There's that one down. Just get some cover here. I like the music as well. The music helps set the scene. Any more ammo? A little bit. Looks like we got them all. Don't seem to be able to help him bust the door down. We don't want to use the gun, do we? If I use the gun, I might end up shooting the kid through it. Push it in, that's it. Break the door. Both down. No time for nonsense. Oh no, he's not dead. Or maybe he is. Maybe he is. Yeah, take her out here. Well, yeah, just do it. Just get rid of them all. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Dear. Then you should know that we're not joking. <laughs> There's somebody that's filth around here, but it isn't us. It's not us. Yeah, just make sure he's gone. That's a good one. Where could they have taken the kids? I don't know, but if there are, we'll deal with them. Can we not just shoot her? Yeah, burn the house to the ground. Are you sure you searched everywhere? Can I, like, kick her? I think it's safe to say that one's dead. Have a look at that. Look at this. I don't think that old woman would have liked that. But now she can watch her house burn to the ground. Oh, they want, she wants us to put her down. Can I do it? Yeah. Why would you take a kid? Yeah. Oh, who's that? And where will I find him? Oh, really? Let her watch her house burn to the ground. Let her burn as well, if we're lucky. Great start! What are we doing about the greys? Because we didn't go to their house to get rid of them, although we burned down their fields. Not the fact that he didn't go absolutely insane. Yep. I think maybe Arthur's hair is just getting a little bit ridiculous, to be fair. But yeah, we're taking them to. They'll be taking them to work him instead. Much better. Much, much better.
a, a problem. A solution. Oh, a solution? Oh great, it's the... Yeah, it's the Pinkertons. It's the Pinkertons. No, it's not. <laughs> A civilized land. Yeah, we're the ones that are showing some level of dignity. That's true. Mm hmm See, the thing is, Dutch is, uh... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you made it, you're making a deal. Do you think? Doubt it very much. Doubt it very much. I don't want to kill all these Dutch. Just Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're not going to let this happen. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. I think he probably should. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's not going to... What's he going to do to us? He's going to have to get, like, a whole gang after us. Which presumably is what he's going to do, but, you know... Well, Arthur could probably take out about half of them. Really? Why don't we just shoot them? Okay. Yeah. That's right, I remember now. Follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. Yeah, properly leave. Yeah, get the vehicles on the road. Yeah, I will try and find a spot for us to go to. Shady Bell it is. So yeah, um, the Pinkertons have found us again, which is what tended, to, which is one of the things that drove us off last time. Although we also had Leviticus Cornwall who found us too, but he's not around now. Yeah, we did. A lot. Far, yeah. Way too many. Getting involved with these two families was pretty, was pretty, uh, foolish. They thought there was a lot of gold, but they were wrong. Yeah, no. Sometimes they think they knew they know how it's gonna go, and they're completely wrong. 
We've got two big plumes of smoke there. Guess where that's coming from? But we have had more than a rocky run, I think. Saying we've had a rocky run is like saying, I don't know, something. I want to see if this is burned down. I don't think I can actually, I think I have to stay with John. Yeah, it looks like I have to go this way. He's worked up. Let me just check something before we carry on. Yeah, Rhodes isn't uh, red and off limits anymore. <laughs> And now they can get a new sheriff and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, it's probably true. Okay, let's keep riding. Let's find this uh, shady bell place and see if we can create ourselves a new home for a short time. And here we find it's been taken over by who knows who. What house is this we're looking at? Shady Bell, surrounded by crocodiles, sorry, alligators. Yeah, it's probably not somewhere you can choose to live. Well, we killed everybody that was in it last time, but that doesn't mean that there aren't a load of people back. Let's just pop out our shotgun and maintain it before we go in. Make sure we're getting as much out of it as we can. Clean it all up. Well, looks like we've got a fight. I think there probably are more of them, yeah. Let's see. Looks like nobody in this room. At least not yet. Yes, they should. They should definitely have left when they had the chance. Nobody around the corner waiting to blow my head off. Is that? Yeah, this is upstairs. Where are they? Hey, I'm here. I've seen you. I know you're there. There you go. Fought you. Let's just break this lock. Oh, can I not just kick it? I don't really need to silently break the lock, do I? I think they know I'm here. Any... Oh, we could take some... I didn't want to search the drawers. I think it's a bit... silly to start searching drawers right now. Nevertheless, let's just keep moving. Oh wait, we need to open a wardrobe. And find absolutely nothing inside it, I guarantee. Yeah. Is this door open? No. Okay, well, so there was actually nothing to do there. So, pull our guns and let's get ready to move again. We'll go in this room first. Nah, mate. Too slow. Too slow. Whatever. He 
He's still moving, look. His body's actually still moving. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit. Get rid of this Lemoyne Raider. Yeah, I'm coming. Just give me a minute. I like that charging into the door. Yeah, the house is pretty much worthless, but... Maybe we could clean it up. Okay, let's get rid of the bodies, that's a good plan. Where are we taking them? We got like somewhere we can put them and burn them. That would be the ideal solution. Oh, good plan. The alligators will uh, finish them off. They'll be happy. I don't know if this is a great place to be camped out because there are alligators around. But maybe. Uh... Oh no, wait, I didn't want to go in the water myself. That was just silly. Oh, so we have to get all the bodies. Okay, so I need to throw bodies in the water. They're all upstairs. Don't think there's any bodies downstairs now, are there? No, all the ones are upstairs. Okay. I'll get the guy in this room here first, then. Get this Lemoyne Raider out of here. One sec. Thought I heard a noise. Maybe I didn't. It's all fine. Do, 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 do. I thought there was a person standing over there next to that water for a moment. No, it wasn't. Right, I don't want to jump in the water again. Right, drop him. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Happy trails. Happy, happy trails. Home. <laughs> Home. If you say so. the house up, it might be quite nice. What's up with her? There's something seriously wrong with her. She's been trying to get his attention and our attention for quite a while. I feel like he's, uh, not paying enough attention, perhaps. Let's change to that gun. Oh, the eighth wonder of the civilization. Sand and E. Yeah, I've been there. I didn't think it was that great. Yeah, we cleared it out quite nicely. Of course she has. I don't think we're going to like what we hear, are we? Start with the saloons. I think probably he's going to be the kind of person no one wants to talk about. Mm. 
maybe. That's probably not a bad idea at all. He sees things differently. And you don't anymore. I think we're gonna have to. Without getting that money from Blackwater though, I don't... We don't have to get money, we could steal a boat. Yay. My industrial revolution in full flow, eh? Hmm. I'll see what I can figure out here. Why the heck not? So we clear chapter 3 and enter chapter 4 in Saint Denis. Where we're looking for Jack, where we're still on the run from the Pinkertons. And Arthur rides into Saint Denis on his horse. If this is civilization, you can keep it, he says. I think there's something wrong with me, but it, 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 I didn't step in front of a horse. I'll tell you, there's something I saw earlier today that I do want to look for. Well, I think we'll go here first, and we'll see what's uh, see what's going on with regard to this Angelo Bronte. I'm looking for my mate Gavin. Not interested in helping a guy that's looking for his mate. Gav. He's lost his friend. Right, so what's here? There's a saloon or something? Aye, there it is. You can hit the saloon. Apparently donkeys aren't small horses, they're big dogs. They're neither. Well, that's a really bad idea. Oh, it's Dutch, okay. Well, that's just the same thing, isn't it? A little controversial opinion. <laughs> Any good news? Oh, I've somehow come across the right place. Yeah, Arthur doesn't like to fight people without need. Well, they've stopped playing their music and they're watching me. And now they're back to their conversations. He does not seem to want to give me a drink. Yeah, he's a bit of a... Yeah, I'd like a whiskey. Oh, wow. Hmm. Depends what kind of question you're asking. <laughs> a 
I'm in the business of uh, getting our friend back. What's he going to tell me about Angelo Bronte? Yeah, that's the boy, I guess. That's your boy. Kids in the alley. Yeah, I'm always careful. Immigrants are not to be trusted, apparently. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Kids. Oh, give me one second. I just need to turn something off. Okay, guys, so we've reduced the ambient noise in the room <laughs> by, by turning off the dryer. So let's go find out where these kids are. I don't think we need a gun to do that, though, Arthur. Come on. You were told to settle down a little bit. No need for a gun. There is nobody here. There's a guy there. Oh, here we go. I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronco. Look out for the guy behind you. I know him. He doesn't look like a kid to me. We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. I can pay you five dollars, but... Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. I'm gonna get... Knocked out or something. Stay close. Easy to get lost you guys better not on, cause me any problems. Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope good to know. Need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough fella. Okay. That's Baird and Shriver on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Don't read books. Okay. Oh, fantastic. Just what we need. A church. Nope. No, we don't. Don't want to go in that church then. Oh, you're trying to steal my stuff. That's not very clever. That's not very clever. I don't have a horse nearby either. Where's my horse? That would solve the whole problem if I'd just get on my horse. I don't want to burn up you. Wait. Just a second. 
Can I track him? Hey, man, you seen a boy running through here? I haven't. No. Maybe those gentlemen over there have. Maybe. Yeah, did you see that, kids? Why, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. He went around the corner. You better stop right now. Hey. Yeah, you don't run off with my... Don't run off with my uh, money. My coin purse, you... Fool. Did you think that... I kick it open? I mean, come on. You're telling me to get lost, are you? Do you think that that's going to make it any easier for you? Haven't I? He's going to run across the rooftops. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, except I don't know how the hell I'm going to get to that kid. Oh, yes, I do. I chase him this way. Where did he go? I'm not going to stop chasing him. He Maybe he realises that. Now I gotta find this kid again. Try not to get in my way. Yeah, morning. I'm telling you, a cucumber's definitely a fruit. Fellas. Seen this kid? Oh yeah, he ran right to us. Ran around the corner there. No thanks. That helps me a little bit. If it's true. Oh, this bloody kid. How long is it going to take us to catch him? Yeah, well, give me my money back then. Maybe I'll share some of it with you. Did he really think he was going to get away from me? Oh, really? The problem is that you've got my stuff. I ain't your friend, but that kid is... He robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna yeah, whatever you say, kid. Oh. Come on. You knew Just give him my stuff. Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. Yeah, because I'm not one of his friends. You don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. Are you? Got Fifty men, Mister. Why you got Why I'm so scared? I just want to speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, Mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, he's been mighty disrespected, well, has he? You and your friends should pay him a visit, Mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Yeah, well. Next time, don't rob people. So let's go back to Dutch and let's tell them what we found out. Oh, some guy wants me to show him kindness. With some of the people who are not very healthy and all the rest of it around here. The only way to show some of them kindness is probably not the kind of kindness they're looking for. I think my horse is in range, but I don't really need it, I don't think. I just need to find Dutch. Wherever the heck he is. Where is he? Oh, he's over here. 
There he is, just having a seat. Minding his own business, huh? Chasing. Yeah. Sherlock Holmes regulars, no? Well, did you find him? Do we believe them? Is it a good idea to take John with us? Like, objectively, is it a good idea to take John Marston with us? I'm, I'm not so sure it is. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long mm. way east to land we know, and far from real open country. But what's it going to tell us about anything? Buenos dias, señor. Yeah, buenos dias. Seen it before. Oh, we're in Mexico? No, I'm in San Denis still. We've got a few little stranger missions here. And a quest with Dutch again. And that's all there is, isn't it? Oh no, look. What's that? We've got a quest for Mary Beth. And Leopold Strauss has got more debts for us to recover. Let's go and see what this stranger's all about first. See what kind of quest we've got here. Bonjour, yeah, bonjour. I can't this. Who's this? Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Buy you a drink. Sure. What you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. Brandy. Sure. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. It's the best. Well, that's okay then. Santé. Quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally, I'm not building it. What do you do? Hey there, how are you? Actually, hey, I thanks. For... You people. <laughs> how very American of you. Thanks very much for tuning in. Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show yeah, I will do, man. Thank you very much. How very friend. I know. <laughs> hey, just as soon as I'm, uh, just as soon as I'm finished up tonight. Thank you very much. I have seen the sights and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, old ass. Mm. Asshole? Mm. <laughs> that too. That too. Mm. Yeah, I don't think he understands what we're talking about. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? All the civilized world, painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Um, Not yeah. <laughs> According to them, I cannot draw. How are you this evening? And I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts. And do, do, do. Let's and just do that now, in fact. Make sure my computer's muted so I don't, uh, so I don't get caught up in anything. Lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breath sure, quick follow. Art, for it is. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. He's tried both. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Hey there, how are you? Here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Eh? You know, entirely worth A little doodle. I want to wipe your bottom with it, but I wanted to say thank you for the <laughs> Well, Wipe his bottom with it. Maybe not. No matter. Good meeting you. Maybe we don't need to go that far. <laughs> so let's take a look at this document and see exactly what it is he's wanting us to do. Where is the document? English spelling practice. This will be what we're looking for then. 
what is this? Is it just a nonsensical list of words? Writing attentive zero ice young ago civilization. Occasion morning English school winter. Industry two. Heathen wilderness. Iron noise. Teacher English. Reservation blanket. Reservation eat afterwards. Temerity. Hope hate. Ice. Soldier treason. Reckoning eat. English sedition. Sickness temperature. Blah 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 blah. I think I'm blocking the tram. Hey, how's it going? Am I blocking your tram? I'm so sorry. Just ring the bell. There you go. Carry on about your day. Now that I've finished annoying you. Oh wait, what is this? Is this the same stranger? So what exactly am I being given English spelling lessons for? And why is it just a mass of words with no real you, kind sir. Will you help the poor? I shall see what he's got to say. A nasty piece of work, yeah. Brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made Am I? some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? That's true, everyone makes poor choices, but But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we mm. shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. I'm afraid I, I can't save the poor. Nope. Fair enough. I'm not Robin Hood. I've been poor. Charity it never did anyone any good. I'm sure. Hmm. What do I know? I'm just a fool making foolish choices myself. Hey, get now. Yep. Anyhow. Sure you are. A somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Hmm. My. Um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be At that point in time, quite possibly. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but you know, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. Usually. The, the thing is, I'm. Well. It's like Arthur could do with, uh, with us. fixing up some of that I thought we had chin here. But Santa Me is acting as a staging post. A stage and post for more slavery. I don't believe you. It's eighteen ninety nine. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the Maybe I will. down the block around the corner, the one with the green door. Well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Does he? Well, we'll see about that. I will investigate this shop. Because if he's sorry. If he's cause if he's trying to start his own new slavery ring, he needs to be dealt with, doesn't he? Where exactly is he? Have I gone to the wrong side of his house? I need to go like into the alleyway, don't I? I've gone the wrong way. Okay, let's go back the way we came. Where's the path? Up these steps. Oh. I'm running into poles. If I'd been doing that on my horse, I'd have been in serious trouble. Right, here we go. Here we go, this will be the place. Hi there, mister. Feel free to browse. Shall do. I will. I will feel free to browse. Got a few paintings over there. Something for the wife, maybe? Something for my wife? I don't know. Yeah, I'll f I'll tell you when I find it. Don't know when I'm going to find it, but some quality pieces in at the moment. Are there? Well, you just nothing I can talk to him about just yet. Probably because I'm not that close to him at the moment. I will have a look and see what he's got to offer us in just a moment. Can't play with the uh, couple of dressers here. Stacked quite high. I don't know if we'll actually find anything in any of them. That was a nightstand to check there. We're not getting anywhere with this search though. Not really. A bit of 
a strange question. But yeah. Tell us slavers around here. Let's ask him direct. What? Where are they? Who? People you're uh. I know they're here, don't lie to me. Yeah. Please, they made me do it. I was always. Oh, they made you do it. They, they forced me to do it, sir. They made him do it, everybody. They made him do it. Where are they? Uh, yeah. There's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Spirit of Crossbreeding by Harold McDonald. Really? What a horrendous book title. Should I be watching out? This is my brother's door. I'm just watching it. He's just watching the store while his brother's away. He's just, uh. He's just. Helping out from for a friend. Uh, hello? Gadgete, gadgete. Okay. Uh, quién es? Let me see what's down here. Hello? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help me. I will help you. Why are they why are they even there? Tying these people up in the basement doesn't seem like doesn't seem like a very uh, good thing to do to me. Is anyone? Are they all alive? Just release this one too. Is that? Do you think it's going to be okay? Really? Do we really think it's going to be okay? Well, maybe the monk will be happy with the fact that we've released these two Mexican people. Where's the guy? He's run away. So that guy's run away. Let's just uh, empty the cash register and give him some money for a, for a new life. That's a lot of money. Come with me. I know someone who can help you. Yeah, take all their money. Because that's a good thing to do. Just have a quick look at uh, what he's got on his nightstand and everything. Can't get in that chest, apparently. That door is useless. Okay, guys, let's go outside. Let's get you guys rescued this whole enslavement situation. That is assuming that I don't get attacked here now. This way. Not much Poor bastards. Yeah. They don't have to trust me, but they're allowed to do whatever they like. But here's the, here's the monk. How did he know about all this? Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's mm -hmm. well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that they're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. <laughs> that's that's probably true. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. There you go. Here. They've got plenty of money. For your services. I could not Keep it. These men myself. It yeah, just keep that money. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Mm -hmm. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. So there we go. We'll get him to go and see at some point. Really... Arthur's turning out to be too nice a guy. By choice, I guess. I feel like that's one of the things that people often missed about a lot of these outlaws, you know? Is that they weren't necessarily evil or anything like that. They were just men, I guess, trying to live their lives in a way that they were able to, you know?
in a time when that's what you had to do. I knew there was someone here. What's he wanting me to do? Do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> He wants to get over drunk. What is it oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Listen, I don't need yeah. much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Yes, they're about a hundred <laughs> gallons? Oh, all right, I'm trying. Okay, mad. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. A machine of love. Ocean love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. Well, not really, because you're gonna have to get a hundred gallons of moonshine first. Just, just, just bring it here. For good cause. Okay, yeah. A hundred yeah, gallons of moonshine, I'll be. Yeah, we aren't going back to roads, are we? I don't think I have to do this mission right this minute, but... What's that? I can't even read what it says, Professor. So yeah, presumably I can do that later. Right now I'm going to go and have a look at this quest the Dutch has got us on. Sorry, there's a little bit of uh, background noise, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't know why she was diving out the way, I wasn't anywhere near her. Actually, before we do that, there's one place I want to go. Because if I remember rightly, down this street somewhere... I'm on the wrong side of the road now. Oh yeah, I have to turn around. Because it's on the top end of this bit here. I want to hit the barbers. I mean, hit the barbers, I mean, go to the barbers, you know. I don't think they'd have much money for me to take anyway, so. These people are just in the way. Wait. Why am I being chased? Are you serious? Oh my god. I'm going to get arrested now for accidentally bumping somebody with my horse. Can't go that way. Oh well, I'm caught. I'm not even shooting at them, they're going to shoot at me though. Just because I accidentally knocked into somebody. Alright, do you know what? Can I not put my hands up? Apparently I'm not even allowed to surrender. And all because I accidentally bumped into somebody very lightly. There is a bit of that, you know, in the, in the game where some, somehow things happen, someone gets in your way or something like that and you bump into them and suddenly you're in serious trouble. And I'm losing all my money. Because some police decided I was being bad. Oh yeah, and I've still got a bounty on me, which means that they'll still be after me if they see me in the street. Even though they killed me. So we'll try and get to this barber. 
And then I guess we'll then need to try and, uh, I don't know, clear our bounty as well. Right, let's get into the barbers. Get our bill, that's not quite what I intended. Alright, he needs his hair shorter for a start. Uh, trim it. No, hang on. What kind of hairstyles do we have? I think we want... Swept back fade. Yeah, that looks interesting, why not? And then we want to trim it back to about there, I think. Doesn't even need washing to look good. And then let's look at the old facial hair. Now first of all, trim the chin, because we don't want the chin ah, parts. I do feel like the the chops are starting to get a bit big for my liking. But before we do that, let's take a look at the styles that we can have. That's what we want. We want a handlebar moustache. And what about the sideburn styles? Oh yeah. But... That seems a bit big to me. No, you know what, these will do. Just maybe take them back just a little bit. He doesn't know how to shave it off completely though, does he? Uh, the English. Burnside. Lag a button. That just looks stupid. Yeah, I mean, there's some interesting options, but... Brigadier? No. Picador? Nope, don't like any of that. Mm. I feel like that's really as much as we want to do. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's just fine, thank you. Looks a lot better already. Please tell your friends about us. Please tell others if we don't. If we please, you tell others if we don't tell us. Yeah, sure. Okay, so we didn't bother trimming the sides. What am I doing? I'm just running down the street. What are you doing? Get out of the way. Yeah, I'll get out of the way once I'm on my horse. In my own time. These people, man. These people. And plus, I've still got a $15 bounty on my head. I don't know when that clears. I think I have to pay it off. It's annoying, though, because, you know... I was punished for my crime, wasn't I? Also, 15 bucks because I accidentally bumped into somebody on my horse and he didn't die it didn't come up as murder being the crime Let's see Ready to take on Bronte 
Clearly. We go in there, start shooting up the place. Boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Yeah, he's probably right. He's probably right. Yeah, because we won't get out of here alive if Excuse me one second. Just need to uh Apparently, I can't. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? Where, whereas? Get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Yeah. Please. Run along now, boy. Yeah. Is that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. He's got this? Has he? It's simple, you just give us the kit back. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Yeah, that's all. We're not gonna cause any trouble or start any fights. We just wanna know where the boy is. You give him to us. We go easy. Clowns? Clowns, is it? Excuse me. I said, No, you're not being excused. Yeah. We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot yeah. of folks dead in this room before it's done. Mm hmm. So, you walk into my city, stinking. Yes. And looking like this. And you come into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me. Yeah, because we don't care about you, you mate. To show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply... Where's that? They're not, they're not shooting us. Okay. Indeed you have. Now. I don't think he's going to want you to sit on his chair, Dutch. Folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some yeah. dispute with some... Inbred ex slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with anyone. Yeah, exactly, it's not us. We're destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders, and that yeah. which we weren't innocent of, well, we we most surely were ignorant of. You, yeah, you, you twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better it's than no, anyone. No, he's not else. lying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seems happy enough. Arthur Morgan. The pleasure is mine. John Mars. All mine, please. So, uh, hope they don't want to trust him. Have his son. Of course, of course. <laughs> but. But no. Of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing. Yeah, what's the job? <laughs> that is a fine place for it. The best. <laughs> I love this guy. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best place to <laughs> rob graves. Yeah. They've done so without paying a tribute to the living. They need mm -hmm. to see my men, of course, they're on a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> tell him more about his manners. Salute. Yeah. Salute. And I think it's safe to say that he's the uh, collateral, should we not get the job done. 
Well, let's get our hat on, because I want a hat. Uh, I don't think I want to wear the pirate hat just now. The tricorn, should I say. We'll stick our paragon hat on. I feel like it won't hurt to have some weapons. In our hands. Not in our hands, that's a bad idea. But at least on my... Person. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. No. What choice do we have? There's a great potential that there might be grave robbers, let's be fair. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure yeah. we'll find earlier. I know where it is. I went past it uh you know, yesterday actually. Of course not. We don't even know where Jack is. Of course I don't trust anything he says. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone yeah. a lot worse. Dutch is in there with him now. I ain't been a good could father. be in serious trouble. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. So do I. I figure otherwise we're gonna be involved gonna hold Jack in some man. crazy battles. I've just realized. Yeah. Must have done. Seriously, you just... John, you just ran someone over and killed him. In one of the most unconvincing collisions with a horse I've ever seen. This is it. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Yeah, okay. Hitch it up. What exactly are we doing? I think probably we want to use a melee weapon. So we don't draw the entire town down on top of us. But let's see what John Marston decides to do. Okay. One sec. Come on. Let's find him again. Right, let's see if we can find these grave robbers. I think I see something. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook them. There's a light over here. Just a lamp. Anyone that way? Not right here. So we're looking for grave robbers. Take a look in this corner and just see if they're here. Oh, what's this? This is an opened tomb by the look of things. Someone's been in here. Because I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be open. Okay, but there's nobody there. So I guess we'll try this way. Anybody around? Nobody there. There. No. No trails taking me to them or anything either. There's a way out over there somewhere, I think. I can hear dogs barking. Although none of them seem to be leading me to where these grave robbers are. So far, at least. Being here is probably not that helpful. Oh, here we go. Someone just ran off over there. Get out of here. Got a 
dog out of here. If a person went that way. Someone ran away this way. In like a black robe. So where are they? This is a big place. I mean, there's a wall just up there, but... I know. Hunting for grave robbers. Yes, he had better. What would be better would be if we posted up people at the doors and just wait. They might not make it too hard for them, but... They don't make it very easy for us to find them either. Nothing there. Oh, what's that? Where did that come from? Over here. I mean, the chances are that's probably them, right? Yeah, somebody went that way. Somebody went this way, come on. Those rats have just been disturbed. Is John Coffin? I think he's been attacked, hasn't he? I've just left him there to be attacked. Hey, I think I hear something in here. I heard something somewhere. Get in cover, and we'll bust the door in. Come on. This is it a good idea. Press to bust the door down. I don't really like the idea of using our guns to do it. Is there ghosts? Wait, we just got attacked. I can't see any of them. Uh, let's just pop that one. I think I'm wearing robes. Let's just do it this way. Where's the third one? There he is. Problem solved. Let's get that guy that's running away. Now the question is, were we just trapped here? Yeah, that guy's disappeared. We're locked here. How long is it going to take for the police to come down on us now? Where is that guy? That's definitely an Italian accent I'm hearing. Can we get out of here before it causes a problem? Oh, there's someone over there. They're ducking in and out of cover though. Think. See, look, they're going like rounded circles to try and get away from us. There we go. Oh! It's not going to get me that easily, I'm afraid. Especially when I got my gun in my hand. I feel like this was a trap all along. Seems like these guys are appearing and disappearing out of cover. Oh, we've got someone else. 
got somebody. Uh, let me just change to no. That. Well, where are they? They say we're going to lose them. There we go. That solves that problem. I don't think they were grave robbers. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. Yeah, let's do that. Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Yeah, but the trouble is that the police are gonna be out and about looking for us soon. Or looking to see what caused that disturbance, at least. Yeah, okay, I'm checking it, but I don't see anything. Do you see anything? Well, there we go. Looks like we found a stash. Yeah, where's the exit? Means we're gonna have to somehow sneak out. Let's go around the side. That doesn't sound like a great plan, John. There's someone coming. Hide. Where am I gonna hide? We should really have got rid of those bodies. How, how you know that? I don't know. Right, he's going. With me. Let's we go the way he was coming from. Where are we going now? I think there's not going to be a guy at the gate. Looks like we're going this way for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why, but okay. Guess we're looking for the gate we come in by. Okay, we're following John. Where's he gone now? Why the heck did he do that? He just shot across the path. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Let's get our horses and get the heck out of here. Back to Dutch and away. Looks like we lost them for now. Let's ride away. Let's yeah. Well, Until we get pulled up by people because we've just been we've just been tricked. You right? he best not be playing games with us. I don't really understand. Was that all we had to do? Because it was a plan to see how good we are. Yeah, let's do that. I reckon the police wouldn't do much to us as long as we're on his side. I get a feeling that that's uh, part of the whole story with him. Yeah. Hey, friend. Thank Mr. Bronte for everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. Yeah. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. Oh, a garden party at the mayor's house. Simple country boys. Trusting these people, people like this has worked out so well for us before.
Let's just follow along with Dutch and see how much work they've done for the camp. Yeah. I had a fun time. I had my own room with yeah, great a fun. bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they oh. do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's <laughs> It looks like worms. Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Yeah, what did he? Yes. That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, oh. I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. That's very civilized. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. She missed him. I love that when you run into somebody and he calls you an idiot. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you feel? Well, he's probably a... Any problems? Oh, Not really. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. <laughs> yeah, we... We did. I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. Yeah. Unbelievable. Each to their mm -hmm. strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. Yeah, but do we trust that? What you say this was? A garden party? A big gala. Yeah, it's like a party, Arthur, in a garden. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll mm. be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Hey, yeah. You do, Abigail. he's here. Abigail. We got yeah, come on out. Everything. We got him. Mama. He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. It's how you Hey. You got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank John helped too. How are you, boy? Yeah. Everything's okay now. Abigail? John's a bit... upset about that, I think. We met Mr. Bronte. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, I'll no. tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Yeah, I don't think they want to be with him. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. Good plan. Drinks are always good. Well, the boys say thank goodness. Thank you, Arthur. I... I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. Okay. Go be with your family. Tell him to be with his family. But he doesn't. They don't want to be with him, I don't think. So what was the point? Of all of it. There was like two missions here before. The only thing is that stagecoach. I do need to pay off a bounty. I feel like... Actually, there is something I want to do. I want to have a quick look at the house for a minute. I'm going to go inside the house and see what they've done to it. Looks like they've cleared it. This is Arthur's room. Yeah, look. Hmm. 
There's a note there to inspect. Oh, they're singing. A uh, New England Examiner scrap. Criminals escaping from jail, eh? Hey? That's exciting. It's a picture of Jose and Bessie. I guess this must be Jose's room then, is it? Let's take a look upstairs. See what's to be found. My guess will be this is probably ah uh, you're a bit twitchy sometimes when you're trying to find out little items, you know. Existence in oblivion by Nikolai Fedorov. Okay. Put that back just now. What's all this? Anything useful there? No. It would appear not. And we've got a little view outside. Not much going on though. But they have pretty much redecorated the house so that it looks quite nice. Obviously there's still going to be a hole in this wall. Nothing they could do about that. Even this room looks quite nice though. In a short space of time they've done a decent amount of work. Maybe if they were given enough time and left alone they could restore the entire place. Make it like a large camp area for them. It stands right now though, we've not got much else we need to do. There's one side mission which requires me to go and uh, find out where a moonshine uh, stagecoach might be running. It looks like actually that's about the only thing I've got an option to do right now. Here to have. Are all of my subtitles in Spanish or no? Tahiti. Oh yeah, that sounds like something we're likely to be able to do. Oh, hold much hope. Sheriff stealing a chicken. I think I missed part of that story. They might have told us some information. What I'm confused about is the thing I do not see at camp is the um, collection box. Right, regardless, let's head out on the road. We need to head to the Trains at the train station, the post office. They hanged the sheriff. Let's get out on the road again. I feel like someone's going to get eaten by a crocodile at some point there. Alligator, whatever. Let's, can we just cut across country instead of messing around? I feel like that's a better option. It's dark. Yep. Under cover of darkness we'll ride on. Oh wait. What's that? 
Well, now I've got missions back there again. Oh, one of them's a letter that I need to read. But I do want to clear this bounty. Well, let's go to the post office. Clear the bounty and then we'll go back there. It's only 15 bucks, but it's better to get it clear now before it becomes like 100 or more. 1,000. And I wonder how Rhodes is getting on without its uh, various... Wendell White and Mr. Black. You're leaving me, huh? Joe. Yeah, we'll leave this there. Where are these people? What is going on here? Let's go see what this is. Hey guys, any chance you could not do that? Two prisoners fighting. Alright, I see. So it's uh, Mr. White and Mr. Black. Mr. White's the black guy, Mr. Black's the white guy. What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, oh. Mister, they need to do us I could get you supplies, maybe. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. No. Do your goddamn favor what you want. They both look like they could do with some help, but... Town take down them wanted posters of us. I could. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't but it strikes me that that would nice be, uh... Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up. Oh, this roads. Yeah, that's fine. So first of all, before I do this mission for them, I'm going to clear my bounty. And then I'll do the mission for them. So we want to just barge through here like that. Just because it scares people, it's great. No, not a stranger. Hi there, mister. Hello. Who the hell? I can't even imagine what he's got. I've got a letter or something, I don't know. I've got that uh information. You asked for? Yeah, first things first, I need to pay a bounty, thanks. Now, what were you saying? I'll take a look, I'll ask about the moonshine. He'll give us an idea where to go. But we're not doing that right now. Uh, no, not horse cargo. Documents. There we go. Uh, I don't think that helps me at all. Does that help me? Doesn't look like it. Well, we'll get to that in a moment. Right now we need to know what's this. That's fine, we'll just put it away. Was that the only wanted poster? Are there any more wanted posters around town? Was it just that one? Seems kind of a bit anticlimactic, doesn't it? I'm 
It's literally one one wanted poster. There must be more than that. Hey look, we got a butcher. Does he remember that we killed everybody in town, do you think? We got the store. Got all these places. For all of them, we have to wait till morning. Although that's not that far away, really. There's one. Spreading gossip? Did he what for? We'll just take that away. <laughs> so they don't agree with each other, basically. How's her Tom? Oh, there we go. Just take that one too. How many posters should there be? Just taking the poster so that I can have myself a mem uh, note to find them. I think that's what over there is it? Oh, we've got to turn left. Well, they've got very specific instructions about where to go there. Doesn't appear like there's anything here that helps us. I wonder who the sheriff is now then. See as we like slaughtered everybody. Surely there has been out by the saloon. At least one. Or you not? Know. What the hell? He's just shooting at me. I was trying to be polite. Just shot your. Oh, who's who's investigating? Look, he shot at me. I didn't even do anything to him and he shot at me. If there's no one around, the witness won't know what's going on. Is there a witness? No one seems to have seen me. Yeah. All went off without a hitch. I think they realised he shot first. Or am I just... Is that just wishful thinking? Either way... We're not being chased, so I can't complain. There hasn't been a lot that's been entirely amusing about most of what we've been doing here, but there's a letter there actually I need to get. Is it inside or? Oh, it looks like I need to slow down. Oh, it's a newspaper. Yeah, which new how many newspapers do you have for me? Okay, so we've got some newspapers. That's great, but... Oh, there's another wanted poster. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. What? What crime's been reported? This 
Doesn't matter, I'm wanted anyway. Oh no 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 no! Best you just give up before you make this any worse, Mister. Oh oh, I'm gonna have to just surrender. Shit! You're gonna come with me this second. And now I've got bounty twenty-five for no damn reason. Well, it's easier if we just get arrested. Solves all the problems. If we could just skip the whole thing, it would be better. But I don't think you can. I don't think you can skip it, even though I've not... It's annoying, I didn't really do anything wrong. I shot that guy, but... Only after... Here's the question, if I was arrested, no, I don't have the bounty anymore. Okay. So is that mission... have I failed that mission? Looks like maybe I failed that mission. I don't know actually, those guys aren't showing up in the area anymore. Let's go up towards the church and see if we see anything there. Oh, I think there's something... I can pick up in this house. I'm sure I saw something about this earlier. <gasps> if I barge through there. Yeah, there's a abalone shell fragment. Which we can use to craft. At the uh, fence. I've got a feeling I probably did all of that quest. Like, that was the last one to pick up, and now I'm totally screwed. I have to do the whole thing again. And I don't feel like doing that. So instead... Instead, let's get moving towards here again. I don't want to do what Strauss is asking me to do. Because it's just more of those debt collections. Which aren't, I mean, some of them are quite exciting, quite interesting, but I had one that I haven't done yet. Which was with a guy that leads me into a cave with a cougar in it. And the cougars are a bit of a pain to fight. Mind you, if I had the right gun with me, it might not have been. If I had a shotgun, I'd have probably taken it down in like two shots. Oh, who's this? Oh, they're going to be a problem. Do they? I guess he doesn't like that. Good time to get moving. It's these gangs. Ah! Where's my horse? Did he just kill my horse? What just happened? It's another one of these moments where the game just decides to cut to that. Is it because I was too close to something? Oh. Well, I've ended up back at Shady Bell, so... Never mind. We're all good. 
now we're going to go and find out what she wants. As long as nobody turns around and says, hey, let's rob another bank. Good morning. Morning. Here she is. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, now, what is it she wants? I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Yeah. Just about. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl <laughs> without means in this world, life is very scary. Mm -hmm. You always care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Yeah, that all just sounds terrible. What about you? I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? Mm-hmm. Got me thinking how that all ended a long time ago now. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Maybe the other way around. Well, she was mm. a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't mm -hmm. make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, oh, have a problem. what are we needing to do now? Problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along. Foreman oh, for God's sake. Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need Sounds good. Guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Okay, okay. I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Oh, so I'm driving then. I'm going to Rhodes again, am I? Radley's house. She told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told that? I suppose it was. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be. I think, given we're trying to hide. Oh yeah, I'm basically stuck with the guns I've got. Yeah, great. Oh, we'll kill some others. She's tough enough to defend herself, yeah. Well, that's fine. Gone the wrong way. Well, let's do that anyway. Sounds good. Of course I care about all you fools. Some yeah, she does. That, you know, we might not always necessarily do things the right way, but... Well, this is Radley's house, is it? No, nope, my horse is too far away, which means I can't get the rest of my guns. I just jumped off the carriage. What I'm doing is being really stupid. And I need to go through the trees. A bit closer. Yeah, we need some, need some help. Awesome. I'll do just that. Let's just break the lock. I feel like that's a sensible thing to do. Because we don't know who's in here. Go throw knives. What's going on is, you guys are in danger. Oh, he 
just kind of moved for a moment, but... There we go. Just cut Tilly free then. Yeah, but we took them out. I think he probably yeah, thinks he owns everybody. There were five of them, I think. Well, five. Killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry, I'll be just fine. Now catch them. Excellent. The one in front of the boat. Bring him back another way. Is he? All right, get after them. Yeah, I'm getting after them. Where are they? I need to choose my gun, not throw knives. She might owe you, but you don't just go and try and collect from our gang. Where is he? Another one down. Right. I think that last one's the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back. Yeah, we'll get that lasso on him. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this. Boss. Yeah, that's fine. Should get a bit closer. Stay away from you. I thought you were a big tough guy. There we go. Now make sure you time up real good. Yeah, you're gonna like it. It's gonna be even better in a moment. Cause I'm gonna hog tie you and I'm gonna stick you on the back of a horse. You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. Then we get rid of him. I'll take his horse. He won't be needing it no more. No, he will not. Got an Appaloosa there. This could get bumpy. Oh. Let's go. Do you have the first idea what you're getting? Into? Do I have the first idea what I'm getting into? Yeah. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that foreman with an ace? I want the undertaker to see. Yeah, I want to make sure that. Funny coward. Oh, shit. Yeah. Who am I running with? Okay. Oh, the rope's cutting into you. Poor baby. Yeah. What a shame. Kill you. I had enough of listening to his nonsense. So we'll bring him back and let the two ladies deal with him. It's probably not going to be very nice. It's probably not going to be very neat. But it's no less than he deserves. Yep. I will. There's your boy there. Yeah. You see For now. girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot you. Yeah, he probably did. Cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, revenge is a fool's game. Now, mm -hmm. you want all your boys dead? 
She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. Yeah. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now you think yeah. you can do that, Anthony? Or should I? Is that something we can do? Just save us all the bother. I leave you alone. History is done. Is it? History is never done. It's your. Is it really? But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Um. Finish the best. No. Let's get you home. Yeah. You think yourself. Lucky. Yeah, run away. Well, that's not actually my horse, but... But it looks like... It's the only one I can get on. Oh, no, wait. I'm doing the wrong thing here. I should be searching his saddlebags. Seeing what we've got in them that I can use. Yep. I guess we'll take the horse back to our camp. Which is back here, of course. Uh, yeah, so the only thing we've got is Strife's mission there. We've got a letter here that I didn't pick up. Uh, what else do we have? Charles Chatney. And Brother Dorkins, the monk that we found. So we've got a couple of things we can pick up on next time. Uh, for now, that's going to be me. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, thank you very much to the Chief for uh, following me. Uh, that was that was really nice of you. And I've dropped you that follow uh, on Mixer and on Twitter. Uh, remember as well, feel free to keep an eye on my Twitter page, twitter.com slash supernotis, where you'll find out when I'm going live. And Mixer.com slash Supernotice where, well, where you can watch me live. I also randomly or gradually putting videos up on YouTube. Uh, not doing it on a very heavily regular basis, but we are going to do it. Uh, so, feel free to uh, keep an eye on what we're doing. But for now, you've been great. Thank you very much. Nice.